Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So for today's lesson, I figured we'd go over how to lerp really quick. Now this will be a small little short tutorial. I will be doing more on lerping later on. So let's start with what we're going to do. We have these two game objects. We have a empty game object here and an empty game object here. And I want to move this platform between the two points. So I'm going to do this with a lerp. Now what is lerp? Lerp is basically you're going to have a vector 3a in the vector 3 position and it's going to move from this one to this one and then you're going to have a float t. Now the t is going to be a straight line and it's going to be a range that it's going to be pretty much clamped to. Now you can actually use this as more of a time so how fast it's going to go so we can actually adjust the range so if we say that it's 8 then it's going to go slower. So you will have a public transform start marker uh, which will be our A point and then you'll have the transform end marker which will be the B point and you're going to have your float speed and then the float start time and then the we're going to have a public not a private float journey length uh, and that is going to be public so that we can actually adjust it in the inspector because we would like it to move slower. When it starts off it should be going pretty fast. Uh, we're going to change this around quite a bit so I'm not going to go over that. Let's go into the code that I have at the moment. So this is the code. So I've named it lerp platform and so what this is is we have our transform start marker, we have our transform end marker and then we have our speed and then our journey length and then our start time. Now I have added a public bool loop and that will start off as false. And the reason why is I would like this to go to point B and then back to point A, B, A, rather than just going from A to B and then stopping. So nothing in the start and then in the update we have our if not looped, then it's gonna go float distance covered equals time dot time minus the start time times the speed and then our transform position which will be our, our transform will be our platform here because we will be attaching the script onto that so it will adjust its coordinates from the start marker to the end marker position and then like I said we do have our distance covered so this divided by our journey length and then going into our if loop so if our if we do have it looped then it, the only change that we have is we have our mathf.pingpong and then we have to actually per, put a another command in there so we will do our journey length divided by speed inside of the brackets rather than outside like we did the time speed here and that's the only difference between the two and that will actually give us the ping pong effect so we have our two empty game objects we have our platform I've attached a script onto it I've dragged and dropped the start waypoint and the end waypoint on there and now we do have our speed as one our journey length as one and then we do have our loop which I'm going to turn off just to show you guys that will only go travel one so loop is off so it hits here and now it is done but if I hit loop it will then go ahead and ping pong back and forth now it is moving pretty fast like I said so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it to 8 and now it is moving about the same speed as the platform that I had animated. The difference now between these two if I actually make a new window is if I grab the end point here and I adjust it over here it's going to move in a line between these two points a straight line and that's what makes a uh, lerp pretty handy. So I don't have to actually animate a platform if I wanted to. If you don't know how the distance is or you know you're going to be changing the map a lot, you don't have to animate it. You can actually do something like this and then you can adjust it and then say we move it way back here. It's going to move faster and faster because the time uh, right here, the distance has increased. So it's going to have to increase the amount of speed between the two which is an easy fix because you can just simply go into the uh, script here and you can actually just add whatever more time let's go 20 to it to make it uh, more slower as slow as you want it really but that's a quick little lesson on uh, lerp 
and how you can actually use it. You can use it for multiple different ways. I'll be going over other ways on how to actually use Alerp later on, further in the Action Adventure series. So we'll see about that, uh, what we can actually get into. But hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial, and if you did, leave a like and comment down below. If you have any troubles, comment down below. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed.